story also remains from Uttarkashi, the rescue operation for nearly 40 workers who are still trapped under the debris of the collapsed tunnel. Now, while they remember are safe, the pipelines are being used to supply them with food, water, oxygen, but time is running out. Indian Air Force Special Aircraft has reached Uttarkashi. Authorities have roped in international organizations for an expert advice. National Highway Minister of State General V.K. Singh will be visiting Silkiar Tunnel. He will be taking stock of situation. But workers have been trapped for over 72 hours now. And it is the hill state of Uttarakhand with the winter's arrival. The Indian Air Force's second special aircraft landed in Uttarakhand with the new drill machines. The question is, can these drill machines really clear the debris that is required? Because about 800 mm steel pipe will be inserted along the debris. Tunnel will then, that is when they'll be able to try and clear some of the debris for a safe evacuation. But the debris is around 50 meters ahead of the laborers, which means that uh, area around the debris to be cleared is also weak. That the laborers and the workers there stuck uh, will have to be kept safe while the debris is being cleared. JCB, power generators, small machines are still in the tunnel, which is very difficult to reach the trapped laborers. So all efforts are being put. But remember, it's not the usual debris. This is the concrete that was for the tunnel building. And that is why the material is very strong to be able to clear through. जो अभी उस मशीन जो आई है, ये सेना के विशेष विमानों से आई है। अभी तक दो विमान उतर चुके हैं और उनका जो सामान है उसका ट्रांसपोर्टेशन चल रहा है और शीघ्र ही तीसरा विमान भी लैंडिंग के उम्मीद है और एक बार जब सारा सामान यहाँ ट्रांसपोर्ट हो जाएगा उसकी एसेंबली होगी। Assembly में जो समय लगेगा भी NHI DCL के अधिकारियों ने बताया है कि चार पांच घंटे का समय लगने की उसमें उम्मीद है और उसके तुरंत बाद मशीन ऑपरेशनल हो जाएगी हमें उम्मीद है कि आज रात्रि से ही कार्य प्रारंभ हो जाएगा जब शुरू में इनका बलबा गिरा था वो 25 से 30 मीटर गिरा था 25 से 30 मीटर अगर ये स्टे कर जाता तो व चौदह तारीख तक छह बार ऊपर से गिर चुका है गिर के उसका स्पैन जो है वो सत्तर मीटर हो गया है मेरी मशीन सत्तर मीटर तक काम नहीं कर सकती मेरी मशीन फोर्टी फाइव मीटर तक काम कर सकती है इसलिए उस मशीन को हटा के सरकार द्वारा भारत सरकार द्वारा एक दूसरी बड़ी मशीन जिसकी कैपेसिटी अबाउट सेवेंटी मीटर है वो अरेंज की गई है कल से जो हमने कोशिश की थी एक ऑगर लगाया था ऑगर एक मशीन होती है जिससे 800 डाया के उसमें पाइप एमएस पाइप से हम ड्रिल करते जाते हैं और मिट्टी निकालते जाते हैं ताकि 800 एमएम डाया के अंदर से हम लोगों को बाहर निकाल सके ये हम एक टनल बनाने की कोशिश चल रही है हमने देखा कुछ कार्य उससे थोड़ा धीरे हो रहा है क्योंकि जो मशीन थी वो उसका रेट बहुत कम था तो इसके लिए हमने एक अमेरिकन ऑगर करके मशीन है वो हमने रिक्विजेशन किया है जो कि दिल्ली से आ चुकी है हमने एयरलिफ्ट कराया एयरलिफ्ट कराया तो हमें वायुसेना ने भारतीय वायुसेना ने हमें सहायता की तीन हमें उनने हरकुलिस 130 एयरक्राफ्ट हमें दिया उससे वो मशीनें आ चुकी हैं जैसे आप देखेंगे पीछे में कुछ पार्ट्स आ चुके हैं तीन डिफरेंट एयरक्राफ्ट्स में आ रहे हैं और साथ ही जो हमारा प्रशासन है यहाँ का जो उत्तराखंड का वो भी हमारे साथ लगे हुए जितने क्लियरेंस करना है सारा वो हमें प्रदान कर रहे हैं और किसी भी तरह की जो चीज होती है डीएम साहब हमारे साथ हमेशा बने हुए तो कोई भी चीज होती है हम एक साथ कोऑर्डिनेट करके उसको हम So meanwhile, Uttarkashi Rescue Tunnel operation has entered into the fifth day. Time is running out for nearly 40 workers who are still trapped with the debris that has fallen very close to them. It will not be an easy operation at all. We are being told that for now the update is that there is no success yet to rescue uh, these uh, trapped workers. Look at the debris around. The part of it is concrete. Remember, it will not be easy to drill through as well. Giant machines have been installed to expedite the process of digging through this debris. But amid all of this, India has sought international advice and help too. Expert advice from Norway and Thailand being corroborated on the current situation. Uh, there are giant drill machines that are currently available that have been transported to Uttarkashi directly, the rescue operation that has been underway as well. But Norway and Thailand are being uh, contacted for an expert advice with the current situation, specifically for the fragile state of mountains. 
where it can possibly provide some assistance. Nearly 50 meters debris need to be penetrated to insert 800 millimeter evacuation tubes. Remember, amid all of this, it will be about the psychological condition of the workers who are trapped. To be trapped in that area, in this weather, while they are being supplied food and water and oxygen, that's definitely not enough. And over five days, the speed of rescue uh, has uh, been slightly delayed as well, given the conditions. And of course, our prayers and we hope that the workers will be brought out safely. So remember now India is seeking expert advice as well, for example from Thailand. Remember in 2018 when there were children who had gone toward a cave and had got stuck for days but they were brought out safe and alive and India would want to do the same or similar for the workers who are trapped in these mountain areas. But it's not going to be an easy operation at all. The available machines are not able to drill through the debris while time is running out. Five days for trapped workers, nearly 40 in number. Here's a report for you to understand what's happening. Every second counts in the race against time to rescue 40 workers trapped inside the Uttarkashi tunnel that caved in on November 12. The authorities are bringing in international organizations for expert advice and to speed up the rescue mission. Special teams from Thailand, including the one that had helped save the children stuck in a cave there in 2018, have been roped in to help the rescue efforts. The Thailand cave rescue was one of the most difficult rescue missions and was tracked across the world. Twelve members of a rescue team aged 11 to 16 and their 25-year-old assistant coach had entered the cave on 23rd June after a practice session. Shortly after they entered, heavy rainfall began and partially flooded the cave system, blocking their way out and trapping them. Efforts to locate the group were hampered by rising water levels and strong currents. They were out of contact for more than a week. Two rescue divers sense the boys were breathing from their exhaust bubbles, which they could see and feel. Rescue organizers discussed various methods to rescue the victims, including teaching them basic diving skills. After days of pumping water from the cave system and respite from rain, the rescue teams got the group out of the cave. A similar rescue operation was carried out in the partially flooded El Pizar cave in Mexico. The rescue occurred in March 2004 after six British soldiers were trapped inside. They were rescued after eight days by British cave divers. Divers from the cave rescue organization assisted the soldiers one at a time as they exited the cave. The victims were in contact with their colleagues who originally had 10 days supply of food as well as lighting and sleeping bags. While the situation in Uttarkashi may be different from Thailand and Mexico, the expertise of teams from abroad will be valuable in speeding up the rescue mission. Your report, India Today.